Jus soli, or birthright citizenship, is a concept that has been applied for centuries throughout various countries. The premise is simple. Those born within a country's borders are granted direct citizenship. However, in practice, birthright citizenship can be complicated as each country continues to set its own laws and restrictions. In April this year, Portugal passed legislation regarding Jusoli. As per this law, after one year of having a Portuguese residency, should you have a child born, they would be able to obtain the Portuguese nationality immediately. The idea of obtaining a preferable citizenship for one's children remains a major attraction, and this has given birth to a new type of tourism altogether. Birth tourism. It refers to those who obtain a visit visa to give birth to their child in a country that has Jus Soli laws in place, allowing them to obtain a citizenship for their newborn. Unlike immigrants, giving birth to their children abroad in their new country of residence, birth tourism only requires a visit visa and a well-timed trip, as well as a bit of luck. One of the countries with the highest birth tourism rate is unsurprisingly the United States of America. The nation has unrestricted birthright citizenship laws in place, allowing anyone born on its land to obtain the U.S. citizenship directly. Those considering birth tourism must ensure to be aware of the country's birthright citizenship laws, as not all Jusulis are born equal. First of all, there are unrestricted and restricted birthright citizenship laws. Unrestricted birthright citizenship means that anyone born on the soil of a nation will automatically obtain citizenship, as in the case of US, Canada, and Brazil. Other countries have restricted birthright citizenship, the UK and Ireland, for example, where to gain citizenship in the former. One of the newborn's parents must either be a citizen or a settled resident in the UK. As for Ireland, as one of the parents must be a full-fledged citizen, hence negating the entire premise of birth tourism. Most countries allow the children of their citizens born abroad to apply for citizenship, with a few exceptions like Saudi Arabia requiring the father to be a Saudi national. A person that obtains a multi-citizenship through investment gains the ability to travel visa-free to the US and Canada two countries with unrestricted birthright citizenship. With a Maltese citizenship, a person can structure it so that their child is born in the US or Canada, giving them a third citizenship, in addition to the Maltese one and the original. Don't forget, Saver & Partners provides complete support in processing your Maltese residence and citizenship by investment applications. For a detailed look into citizenship through birthright or investment, visit our website on the link below and don't forget to follow our updates on social media channels.